Okay, so we're here with uh, 2010 um, ML and the transmission has been replaced. So right now we've got the CAN bus connector unhooked. We've got our homemade connector hooked up. We have a battery hooked up to it and Oscar was nice enough to give us a booster because my old battery's going dead. We've got our AVDI hooked up. We're going to open up special functions. We're gonna open up DAS Manager. We're gonna click on Transmission Control Module and we're gonna click Read Data. Now just so you know, one of the biggest things you need on this is good internet and good power. Now if you look at this, it shows that it's personalized and activated. So we're gonna virginize it. It's gonna process the data over the internet. Take it a couple of minutes. Data processed. And now if you look at it, preparing ECU Vernet, Virgin, reading control module. Now, when you look at this, it says control unit not personalized and not activated. It still has the old DAS information from the old keys, but it's virginized so we can now put it, hook it back up to the car, get in the car and personalize it to the car and make it work. So we'll show you how to do that next. Okay, so now we are in the 2010 ML and we are hooked back up. We have our AVDI hooked up to this. We are going to, once again, we're going to read the transmission control just to make sure it's talking. Okay, so now if you look, see how now it says not personalized, not activated. So now what we're going to do is we're going to click on personalization. Okay. In case you may, okay, if you don't have a saved file, press no, and it'll load it from the EZS, which is the electronic switch. So what it's doing is, it's taking the data from the EZS, and now it's personalizing it. Okay, so now if you notice, it says unit personalized, but not activated. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go over here, we're gonna turn the key off, we're gonna turn the key back on, and now we're gonna go in here and we're gonna click on activate. Okay, so now when we read it, you will notice it now says unit is personalized and activated. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go back in and we're going to vehicle selection. We're going to scan for codes and then clear them. Okay, so we did a scan of the car and we're finding out that the DME has seven DTCs, the electronic transmission control has 14. So what we're going to do is we're going to open it up. We are going to read DTCs and you'll see a lot of these that will give you all kinds of weird things and the reason is is because this was put in the car and then hooked up and it was having issues so now we're going to clear those dtcs and now you'll see there are zero trouble codes so we're going to close that now we're going to go to the dme or motor electronics we're going to read the dtcs on that Okay, and if you notice, control unit, transmission control, um, can message, there's a lot of these. So we're going to clear them. Okay, so all DTCs were successfully cleared. There's a couple of them left, and I don't know what those are. But hey, now we can start up the car and it'll work like it should.